it may not lead to truth. In some cases, authenticity leads to further distortion. It leads to further perversion. And part of the reason why I wrote this book, Comeback Swinging, is because I fell into the trap of believing that authenticity and truth were the same thing. And I, I quickly found out that they were not. Um, it, it wasn't just spiritual forces, as it were, that told me that. Physical forces told me that. Legal forces told me that. You know, anybody that wants to tell you that there's many truths, <laughs> tell them to go sit in the courtroom. Tell them to go see a doctor when they're reading a prognosis. There is but one truth. Now you you can you can accept it or you or you don't have to, but but there is a beauty in authenticity. The beauty in authenticity is that as we are really honest about who we are, and the fact is that we're all flawed, we're all a hot mess in some area, and in in and if we're really honest in many areas, we all have struggles. In that authenticity, it allows us to to recognize who truth is. Truth is not a what. Truth is not a perspective. Truth is a person. And the spirit of truth will lead and guide you as you come to an understanding and authenticity that I don't know truth on my own. If I knew truth on my own, I'd be further along. If I knew truth on my own, I wouldn't have all the problems I had. If, if truth lied in me and all I had to do was look within to find truth, this world would not be what it is today. We've got a lot of people who are living or trying to live authentically, many aren't, but trying to live authentically. But just because they're living authentically does not necessarily mean they are living in truth. Especially if we have embraced anything that's a distortion of who we are, anything